Hi, I'm Sean Hanlon from South Wales and I've been admiring all the artwork of the rainbows that lots of people have done and put in their windows. This inspired me into an idea for a United Arts project, something the whole country could take part in. This symbol of what art craft we're about to make is to support the NHS. But there are lots of key workers out there who could have the same support and we could produce artwork for them too. It would be your choice. So we're simply going to be making a fairy to put in our garden. At the moment this is just the basic fairy. She's got no colour whatsoever and she's just made from three simple pieces that most of us have lying around our homes. Now I wanted to make lots of fairies for the key workers so I've symbolised them as colours. Obviously the NHS is a bright cascade of rainbow. Well, I thought that orange and green would be good for shop workers. I think a cascade of blues would be brilliant for care workers and cleaners. Shades of red for our postal and delivery people. And the purity of white for that someone special in your life who is caring and it's purely your nomination. Children can go on fairy hunts when they go for walks and we can show our support by putting them in the garden and maybe even lighting them up with small lights. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these structures now and then we'll decide on the colours. So this is our fairy piece up close. I just wanted you to have a look at the structure of it. I've been in the recycle box yet again and you're just looking for a plastic bottle. Try and find one with quite a narrow head where the cap goes. There are some interesting shapes on the bottles. I like this one particularly because of the scallop design. This is just a squash bottle. That's got an interesting design that could almost look like a fairy skirt. So that's basically what you are looking for to begin with. You just need a bottle. I'm going to use this one again today and show you how to cut it up now. So remove the lid and gently cut this part of the bottle. Set this piece aside at the moment. If you look carefully you can see those ridges in the, in the, uh, the bottle that I was telling you about. So just go around like so. So you've got this kind of shape. You're following Continue all the way around. You should end up with a piece that looks like this. So that is now the skirt and the body. Now cut your bottle all the way down to about by there. Cut all the way around. We don't need this bit at the moment, so put it aside. We now got this bit. And you are going to fold it in half, but the reverse half. It's quite a tricky thing to do, but you can do it. Why? Because we're going to cut out a set of wings so that they're the same on both sides. It's not an easy thing to do and you might need a little bit of help, it's a bit tricky.
your wings will automatically spring back. So you've got to try and mold them to stay the inverted side. So this will take some doing and some manipulating, but eventually they will stay in shape. So your wings should look a bit like this. We're going to make a head shape now. So all you're doing now is just following that shape and at the moment just cutting this out. So you've got roughly this kind of shape. You need to make it more rounded so it looks like a head. And this is where the fun bit comes. You need to put in two small little dart areas like this. So your shape looks roughly like this. The household washing peg. That's all you need extra. So the fairy skirt. I'm using acrylic. I've got a palette of acrylic paints ready and like a medium sized brush. Now we want it to look quite transparent but don't go adding loads of water just use the paint as pure as you can and paint from the inside. So start with the palest colour first. And just follow the lines. Just follow the contour of the shape. Now I'm beginning to add in a bit of orange. Moving into some reds. Some blue. If you do it without actually cleaning your brush, the colours will merge together and get a really interesting looking rainbow colour shape. But be careful not for them to turn brown. If you put them too close together, they might get a bit muddy. Complete this process all the way around inside. It should look a bit like this when you finish. You need to do the same process with your fairy wings. So that they've molded themselves now. This is the front and this is the back. You need to paint the back. So again, start with your palest colour. And paint from inside to out. And just have fun. Your finished wings should look a little bit like this. Now this is the headpiece. Now I've just mixed a little bit of white, tiny bit of yellow and the speckest of red and I'm just painting a skin tone all over this piece. Because we have to put some hair and some facial features on it, but only something simple. Just put a coat of paint all over and then wait for it to dry. So I've just slowly began to paint some hair onto our face. And 
and she needs a face as well. So we need some little rosy cheeks and some eyes and nose and a lovely smile. I found this piece of string and I'm just tying it to the neck of the bottle so it almost looks like the bodice or the body part of the fairy. Putting our fairy together is really simple. Use our peg, peg onto the wings with the peg is colour at the top and just peg onto the fairy's body. The little head that we cut out just simply slots into the top. Remember earlier when I said just to use a narrow opener, opening. And there we have it, our finished NHS Rainbow Fairy ready for the garden.